How's it going guys and welcome back to another coaching analysis video where I review your guys' gameplays and try to give you some pointers. So this time we're going to have a little St. Andy dash TV. I appreciate all you guys for wanting to submit your gameplay. I had to slow it down so I took off the submission poll at the bottom in the description because there is too much for me to even count at this point. So I'll probably open submissions up in a few weeks but for now I kind of have to keep it closed because it's just overwhelming my Google form that I have. But let's hop into this one. So he was a gold three at 2600 MMR at the time of submitting this, which was about eight days ago. So he's climbed quite a lot of MMR. He's up about four or 500 now, 500 at gold one. So hopefully we see more good than bad. I love whenever we see that. But either way, I'm gonna try to point it out because obviously we see that you're a little gold stuck here because you are right there. You're just gold three, gold one, gold three, plat you hit plat once and we got gold gold right so you're you're really close you were only nine away this season seal wave let's try to help you out here and push you into the platinum rank i'm gonna be harder on these ones whenever they're gold one and they're right on the cusp i try to point out everything because that is the difference between gold one and plat so there was a lot of comms in this one that's kind of why i chose it over any other one i kind of want to hear different comms so we're gonna listen to the comms and everything, but as I was saying though, the smallest things uh, are usually not like gunplay related whenever it comes down to gold and stuff. Good job getting the Mozzie drone. Good call out. I see your Valkyrie cam though. I think that was on my Valkyrie video if anyone watched that on the bank. But I love Valkyrie. I want to see what other spots you have. You have two cams left with eight seconds. So, oh, gotta throw those out. Oh, are you gonna use that cam, bro? You better. Throw a camera outside. I don't know if it's the best though. You, usually, you want to aim for the middle part of the tree if you're gonna throw an outside cam like that. I have one more cam. I would put it probably on the hallway there, but inside would work as well. Like I never know where to sit yeah, on my so, so weird Uh, I don't know whose voice is who. Uh, that cam's yeah, actually okay. But, as I was saying, hey, uh, you usually want to aim for... Sorry, I had to get my pen out. You you usually want to aim for this stump right here because it'll just blend in completely if you put your cam here and it's really hard to see uh, the cam. It's also harder to see out though. This one's more visible, but it's still the same. It doesn't really matter. As you were saying though, it does not really matter where you watch your cams from as long as you're in a safe spot. Already a 3v5. You're playing a laser, so just keep in mind that laser is usually not always the best idea. Is in. Yeah. So I would only run a laser usually on, I mean, it's your personal preference, but if you don't have a reason to, this really is revealing. I mean, I use laser for buck and only buck at this point. I used to run laser on a few guns. I mean, I sometimes run it on guns like Ella or whatever. It's crazy hip fire. But for Valk, I mean, her gun is just a laser beam. Doesn't hit hard, but it's a laser wow. beam. That is a. That's yeah. That was a bad round. It's nothing with strategy. I feel like you guys had a setup and had good operators, but uh, just whenever you die, frag. When the other team just frags out like that, it's just how it goes. Now you're going basement. Yeah, basement's the better site overall than the top floor, but I don't know. I didn't really hate going top floor first. You kind of throw them off, but it just didn't work last time. You want me to get server now? You should definitely get server usually. So usually you're going to have a Wamai here that looks like that's the setup or it's going to be Echo. I don't know. It should be a Wamai here, but you're going to want this reinforced. You don't want them to get in through the hatch and have lines of sight into the back of the server. Instead, you want them to only have two entrances, which is one, the dirt tunnel, and the other way is the stairs you just came from, the blue stairs. If you can limit it to that, the Wamai has such little things to worry about. He just needs to keep his eyes forward. If they come blue, then that's a, a win. And if they use a hard breach on this, then that's also a win because, well, they wasted a hard breach really on that. So there, there's no reason to not reinforce that, basically. You played Kate. I like that. You need a Kate on this site, really, but it's good that you're willing to play the support operators. That sometimes 
is hard to do. Yeah, oh. I can't get elevator. So you can get this hatch with your Cade, but the better one would be in the main hallway, which is over there. I don't think you got that one. I think you got the one in the actual site. But the one in the hallway well, is kind of a big deal to get. So the one in this hallway right, right over oh, there. That is a must get. Are you sure you want to, or do you want to wait for me? Oh, I was saying, like, the elevator hatch or the server hatch, either of those would have been a better reinforcement than either holding your reinforcement or these two walls. These two walls aren't really useful reinforcing. Because say they go down the main stairs and blow this up, there's usually two people watching this crossfire on both sides at least, so they don't get much out of it. While if they get a hatch and just drop into sight, then, well, you're kind of, you're kind of screwed. I don't think anyone's so holding someone else up there with you. garage. That's probably the best place for a Cade to be right now. Instead of just nice, be careful. Come back to site. Breaking Come back to site. Up the window. I'm moving my evil eye a little bit. Uh, you at least got one lobby. Top square. Okay. That guy should have listened to your teammate. So he, uh, the vigil who's dead now. He got two kills, which is great and all. But he needs to either just slow down, sit in a corner for a little while, because now everyone knows they're up there, and if they're smart, they're gonna go for the kill, which they did. If he would have just sat in an elevator or just chilled out or just came downstairs, then you guys are up man count of five to three, which is a very, very much better than four. You know, four three. Everything's always better than that. And you're running laser again. I would just get in the habit of not running laser. If I were you, laser I don't think is the best option for you, but then again, do whatever you want. This is a bad angle to push. Can you watch the default cam in basement? Elevator hatch. Yeah, I know. They dropped, they dropped. Upside, oh, yeah. upside. Where did they drop? Elevator hatch. Elevator hatch. Alright, good Black kill. I'm 4 HP. They're droning from you elevator You definitely are 4 HP. I, I tagged Zofia. That Blackbeard. You, you, you just stood up and Part fought him, line. but he just sucks. It's looking vault echo. Yeah, their main yeah. stairs, that's the call out. You're gonna hear if they drop again. I don't think yeah, anyone else dropped, so. Um. Shit, C4. He's drawing out elevator. I didn't. I don't. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Blackbeard dropped. I don't see. I don't think anyone dropped over there. So I don't know what the C4 was even thrown for. Nonetheless, it's not where you wanted it to be. You wanted it to be way up there and jump over the window, but that just did not work out. But I don't think even throwing a C4 there is necessary. Hey, Sophie's in. Sophie's in hallway. Yeah. She's in A. She's in A. Other one. <sighs> You guys are 0-2 on defense, that's not good, but there's just no comms coming from your team. You guys are all stacked up, at least a few of you guys, and someone needs to be watching those cams. You guys have Echo, you have Maestro, and then you have, of course, Default, so I don't know what's what's going wrong. Definitely got to win lockers here. 1-2 is better than 0-3 for sure. On defense, you got to go up 2-1, though, in most situations. Okay, so this time you went Legion, some other guy went uh, Kaid, so... You're just gonna get the hatches. You should get the hatches that screwed you last time, which is elevator. And I don't know if they did they get in vault hatch. I don't remember if they got in vault, but that's the one you should get. And the other teammate should get the ones in open area. Uh, okay. Unless you're playing, if you're not, it shouldn't matter. They can't always see you if you're. You can get far enough over to where they don't. So. Ten seconds remaining. Let me guess, they have a Twitch. Yeah, I heard someone get shocked or something. So as I was saying, though, I think the other hatch they got open, maybe, or they just ran through uh, main stairs or garage. But this is where they were, right? This is where the Zofia was last round. So that is where your, uh, that's where your Electro Claw should have went, on this one and then the one in there. These are the two most common ones because it's easy to take open control, and that's these two hatches. So just keep that in mind next time you play Kaid. Uh, the vault hatch is not uh, as important. Electric. They can't really do as much with it. Uh, While this hatch, they get the main hallway the control main and the yeah. other control as well. Well, I used one of them on the two walls for A. 
Uh, do you want me to make a rotation B to A? Yeah, he should. Okay. Your teammate, I, I'm calling him out too because he just said he used an electric claw on a wall. Um, that's not how you should you, the, on this site you need to get hatches so get the hatch in cc get the hatch in the main hall don't worry about the other one you guys should have someone in cctv holding it anyways you, usually is a ads player which is either jaeger or my so someone should be in server for sure yeah yep they're in garage other one's in ash got my evil line garage So you're holding an anchor point here. Um, I just stop looking here. You're gonna hear if they open. So don't even worry about looking there. Instead, focus up. Get an angle. Use this thing and get an angle deep into garage. That is a deep, that is an angle. Or play close on garage. But you know two are in garage. So just focus up that. Your team has to get the rest of it. So it looks like that's what you're doing. They're gonna be able to shoot nice. that instantly if they're looking. I'd be surprised if they don't. It looks like you might hold this angle. No. Are they in A? The fact that your team doesn't know if they're in A or not is pretty horrendous. And just missed your shot there. It was a good peek though. And do a weak interrupt. So you guys are still up. What? I uh, know it's 3 4 now, yeah. You guys have cams. You guys have cams into sight, but no one's on them. Get on cams right here. This is what you need to be doing. There you go. Switch it up. Watch the main hall. Yeah, just keep keep flipping through. See what you can look at. Probably the main that. stairs is the best thing you can look at right now. But we'll Pretty see. Your teammate so lagged out. Uh, I think they're okay, uh, three, two. Uh, I down the the you guys should be able to get it. So he's in the main hallway. He's going to be coming to the garage. There he is. 3v1. Everyone just needs to play off of each other. No peeking. Just hold that angle. Yep, hold an angle, don't peek. Okay, or peek. Yeah, so that's a big problem with golds. He got the kill, of course, but right here is where the bad things start happening. This guy runs out. Here, let's get the scoreboard off. Okay. So this guy runs out here. He gets killed. So Doc says, okay, I'll refrag. So he comes up here. He gets killed. And then you're in a 1v1 situation. It's a 50-50 instead of a, like, 75% chance, you know? So it's just a... Uh, just a poor idea to push out like that. I mean, it worked out that time, got the job done. But beyond gold, you're probably gonna get your head taken off there. We're gonna see how you play your drone. Hopefully you're a saver. You know they're downstairs. Who cares about getting the spot? Get it out. Get it out. Good work. That is the slickest way to do it. And you get to keep your drone and hopefully you're putting it where you're gonna be pushing, which in theory would be server. You guys are all going jewelry. You should have, I know you guys are queued up, so I'm gonna say this. You guys should have Two, you guys should have a Cali or a Thatcher go upstairs for hatches with Habana, and then, um, yeah, Thermite needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. So Thermite needs to push server. Your Habana's dead now, so I guess everyone can rotate over to server because he died. Uh, he should have spawned on the back entrance, not on, uh, not main entrance. That's probably the best thing to do there. So you have laser on this gun. I actually like that, but <laughs> every other gun I don't really love. I also like that you're running hollow on the buck. Buck is hard to control recoil if there is no hollow. ACOG is harder. It takes just more time to get used to. So behind server stack is clear. Don't know if you called that out. Your team should push and take that take control of that this is barricaded off so that helps you guys actually because they can't really get through it unless if they do it service stack is clear they're pushing in someone needs to hold a long angle into that site with an acog um now you guys need to thermite the corner wall and get the, get to the common plant but that's not yeah so you guys want to get this wall over there and then you want to plant behind the desk this is the common plant this is the easiest plant to get down and that's because you can be sitting like here's the wall right you could plant it kind of like halfway your body can be outside while the bomb is going down for example so this re this blow up doesn't really do much for you guys it doesn't give you much of an angle it just gives you a random pre-fire he can't do anything though um without with the barricade still there so you guys should be good 
Just set up a flank cam as well. You have two drones setting up a flank cam here. Whenever you're in a stack, flank cams are what's up. So you got to set a flank cam probably at top of square. You have one at bottom, bottom of blue, which I guess is helpful. But uh, at the square, on top square, it would be the best for you oh, and your team. Uh, yeah, Legion's just sitting don't, in the corner. He's laying down, back desk in A corner by rotation. Yeah, he's behind the desk prone. She's still there? Yeah, he's still there. You're, um... First things first, I would like to say you and Thermite have not put down a clan war. Just put it down on blue and just in case. Or whenever you plant right here, this is where you should plant. Put the claymore right there. Now, the second thing I must note out, yes, he's in this corner. You know that, but you're leaving yourself. First of all, you'd be the easiest kill if he pops up and you're just the first one standing right here. So that's the first thing. Second thing is you're leaving yourself revealed to this deep angle right here. Someone could push uh, for through the vault and see you there. Someone could push this way and see you there. And the only thing you're focusing on is the guy laying down. So you need to go way back into the back of the server stack and hold Maybe that I'm angle instead. Right. You are in a very scary position. Watch out from home. Tell me if you try to Very scary move. position. Try to, try to plant off your camera. Alright, I'm watching if you'll move. Why are you there? I'm He's moving his That's a terrible through. plant. No, 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 no. So the only lines of sight that they have into sight are the door over here. They have this lesion sitting in the corner. He doesn't have a C4 or anything. So someone just needs to watch this push up. And then they have this, right? And the only place you plant is right here where you're exposed to... You know, this angle, this angle, this angle, and then the lesion. So you're exposed to four things. Instead of sitting right here, having someone watch your door, and then have someone watching this way and watching for the lesion to get up. That's the easiest way to go about it. Good flick on that guy. Uh, uh, yeah. So that, that's kind of showed how screwy your position was. He didn't end up getting the kill, but we go there. That was a good flick, and then you went for the second flick, but the lesion is still here, so he's gonna pop up, right, and he's gonna shoot you, and you have no cover because you were too close. You could have done the same thing if you were behind the server stack way back there. Not only that, your whole team is watching the same angles for some reason. Someone should have been watching this long angle, and it should have been the Thermite or the Thatcher with an ACOG. You were watching the right stuff, I just would say I would go somewhere else to watch that exact location that you're watching. You must recover the He's dead. The kill. Door. So you came in really aggressive. You are aimed in. He's still crawling. So this guy is right here. So it's unlikely that you'll even kill him. But if you do, well, you're still not in the best situation. Just, just get down here. One teammate needs to watch this. One teammate needs to watch this. You plant right here. That is how you get. That's how you play siege without fragging. You don't need to get all the kills to put the plant down. And once they start hearing the plant sound, first of all, this guy's going to stand up and his head's going to get taken off. And then someone's going to probably push the door and his head's going to be taken off by your two teammates watching the two angles. But instead, that's what happened. So you got the lesion and then you died by the door because no one was watching the door. So I don't know what your teammates are watching. It seemed like you had to get all the frags there just to get the rounds. So you got to be tougher. You got to be an in-game leader there and say someone watched the door, right? Like, and make sure they actually confirm, like, Okay, I'm watching the door. That's all you need to hear from a Thermite or the Thatcher. That Jaeger peaked three times in that whole round, and no one was there to watch him, which is absolutely insane. All right, 2-1. Now, they're still not planting. Yeah, so you're not... Okay. So they're not planting until 15 seconds. You guys could have planted at a minute, right? And that would have escalated that round a lot quicker than it did without you having to go be crazy with the diffuser as a buck. I mean, you should have just been there to plant. So I'm hoping this round we get a little bit better of team play because I don't think that was your fault that round at all. If you guys would have lost, you got you were trying to do everything you could, but it's just teamwork in general. Your in-game leadership wasn't there and no one on your team is being that IGL, which is kind of an important role on the team. In-game leader is one of the most important roles. Being an in-game leader, guys, is probably one of the most beneficial things. That's basically whenever you're trying to make shots for your team. You see a Valkan, that's nice. I'm going That's unfortunate. To <laughs> the wall I bet you Dang. Well. What stairs from bottom main? Now you got a camp spot at least. All right. Once again, your Habana died. You guys are all pushing through main lobby. 
at most, like at most, you should have maybe one person pushing the lobby and it would be you because you should be bucking underneath the floor, which is over there. So if anything, you probably should have came through bottom square and maybe have a teammate come through open and clear that. But your other parts of your team, even though Habana keeps dying, Thatcher, IQ, Habana, and Blackbeard. I mean, IQ can come downstairs with you if you would like, but uh, the Thatcher, Habana, and Blackbeard... I mean, I, in a perfect world, I would have Blackbeard going the stock room, which it looks like he might be. And then you, in theory, would probably have an ace on the team or a thermite instead of Habana, but any hard breacher works. And then you'd have the Thatcher both going top square to get the common wall, which is on the A wall. So you guys don't really have a plan in place. Once again, again your squad needs an in-game leader, and I think uh, you could easily take that role. Stunning there, now everyone knows you're here. It's like you kind of did like a quick run peek there. I would learn the quick peek if you don't know it already. Um, because, yeah, quick peeking is very important. I'll link you to that if you want. I just posted it because all these coaching videos, I've seen that no one really has their quick peek down. So I made a video on the quick peek because I just, I don't know. Do you guys, oh, okay. So your team and you have the common mistake of roam clearing everything. So on a site like this, either downstairs or or upstairs both of these sites don't really need any roam clearing it's 2-2 you have a minute and five seconds left your team should be pushing the wall right now it's at a minute remaining you should not be in the basement if you want to buck underneath just go up there and buck underneath you're gonna hear if someone's trying to flank you and then you'll easily get the kill there but going in the basement right now and then pushing up main stairs which is kind of the only thing you could do at this point is just gonna get you killed that's that's probably the main yeah, thing there you didn't kill the default cam it's up in the top right corner over there if you are gonna come down here you have to at least do that um because now they know you're in the basement all right which is obviously not the best and you're droning in the elevator when the floor is on the top floor. It's just, yeah, you're worrying too much about roamers. You have that common mistake of just worrying too much. Now, you guys should have droned this way, way earlier. And that cam probably saw you, called you out. Quick through the drone hole. Okay. But yeah, you're pushing up the main stairs. Now, you don't know if anyone's in elevators, which is right here. You don't know if anyone's in the banana hall because your team never ended up taking the spiral staircase up, even though three of you guys went there or two of you guys went there. So I just don't know. I think you guys are all over the place on your attacks. Someone should at least win up the spiral if that's how you're going to push it and then cleared out the elevator shaft because these were these windows were all reinforced. So it would have been easy to take that, that banana hall. And then you guys could even take this office right here. Instead now though, you're gonna be exposed to the elevator. You can't really clear it because this side, you would have to clear the actual objective to clear the site or to clear the elevator. So you're, you you guys are in a very poor position at 30 course. seconds here. The, the one in yeah, you're just uh, having to randomly pre-fire call outs. It's just not. Oh, it's reinforced. Yeah. You're jumping through here. Someone's probably in this office is what I would assume. Someone's probably on the B-bomb is another place that they would be. And then the other two are probably in A site is my best guess. Or one's roaming. Maybe the Valk is roaming. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I bet he's on the B-bomb if you're not clearing. Yeah, he was prone. To, okay. Yeah, your team is not in a good position. The only way to win this site is to get that back wall. You got to open that back wall, but you're gonna died. So on defense, you were playing really support ops, but now you're just playing buck. I don't think this site or any site on this map really needs a buck at all, but an ace maybe would be better or a thermite. Any of those would be a better option than buck right now if your team's not playing it. All right, match point. Can you guys pull uh, you sure? through? We'll see if you guys can get some OT action. I don't know if you guys have any. You have 2.30 left on the clock. I don't know. It's a little, a little tight. He's prone on a bomb. Now he sees your drone. Uh, shouldn't have pinged there. Should have just called it out. That's an easy free kill if you didn't call it out. Okay, four, five, the bandit. There's three there. You guys gotta get the kill here. Oh no. Gotta get the kill. Gotta get the kill. That's smoke dead. That's just a panic. So you came around this corner so, so hot. 
So so hot because you know they're you know they're there, so you're just trying to pre-fire it. But look where you're shooting whenever. <laughs> I don't think you hit a bullet in there because it was too like fast of movement here. A better option would be to run across, honestly, if you're gonna play like that. I, I would definitely would just run across or just take a peek that you can actually win and if you're gonna pre-fire, you know, be confident in your pre-fire. So we'll see. It's a 2v4. It's looking slim. Eight is open. He's going to catch you. One v four. It looks like that is it. Yeah, that was extremely avoidable just by some frags, but it just did not, did not happen. But anyways, that's going to conclude this one for sure. Whammy is out of here. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for submitting your videos, everyone. There are so many, but I'm only going to do, I mean, two a week sounds pretty good to me. Let me know if you guys want more. But with that, guys, that is it for this coaching analysis. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which should be on a Monday.